Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hello Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. It's another month, and I have another of the Cereal Box Club. I realize this isn't really crafting related, but stick around and we'll open it up. So as I explained the last time I opened up the Cereal Box Club, this is a Canadian thing that has to do with the fact that the Canadians kind of feel a little bereft when it comes to our friends across the border. We have a tenth the population and more arcane rules for packaging and healthcare. So we don't get the fun flavors that the U.S. does of things. And I remember being seriously disappointed as a kid when they when I would get some U.S. TV commercial that would say, hey, we had this cool new flavor of cereal or Oreo or M&Ms or whatever, and they never came up into Canada, so I never got a chance to get them. And especially now with the border closed, you can't go get it, and it's right there. So the Cereal Box Club sends a limited edition box of cereal and several snacks, none of which are available in, in, Canada, in Canada, just in the US. So let's take a look and see what this one has. Is this silly? Yes. Does it make my inner child sing? Yes. <laughs> so let's take a look and see what we get. We tried all the ones in the last one. I think the only one that nobody liked was the uh, red velvet, whatever they were. Nobody liked that one. Oh, my kids are going to lose their mind. <laughs> okay, so the cereal this time is Pokemon, and it's a sweetened corn puff with marshmallows. Oh my god, my kids are going to lose their mind. Berry Bolt, naturally flavored with other natural flavors, the Department of Redundancy Department. It's got Evolution Confusion on here. <laughs> uh, we, we did play Pokemon Go for the first couple of years it was out, and my kids have watched all the Pokemon cartoons and stuff like that, so we know our Pokemon. They have Pokemon cards. Pokemon cereal will go over well in this family. <laughs> Blueberry cherry twist it's topped with rainbow uh, yellow Pikachu marshmallows brings an exciting electric feel to your spoon. Pokemon cereal, I choose you. This apparently came out for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, which is frightening because I remember being too old for Pokemon when it came out. <laughs> oh, I feel old. Okay, Maltesers Bunny. Oh, I love Maltesers. Maltesers, Maltesers East, Maltesers Malteser Easter Bunny. Say, try saying that name three times fast. This milk chocolate bunny with the crunchy and creamy center is everything we wished for this Easter. Oh, that's mine. The kids aren't getting that. <laughs> then we have Hostess Birthday Cupcakes. These limited edition cupcakes are everything we love about birthday parties with the cream soft yellow sponge cake frosting and rainbow sprinkles you feel the need to celebrate even if you don't have a birthday this month. We actually do have two birthdays coming up. Uh, Caitlin's ninth birthday is at the end of the month and my birthday is the very beginning of next month. So, birthdays! Oh, peanut butters, Reese's ultimate peanut butter lovers. An all peanut butter, peanut butter cup. There's no chocolate? I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, you can tell these are all sold in the U.S. Because while they have metric on them, the primary, um, the primary stuff is the ounces. And there's no French anywhere on these boxes, which they would have to have to come into Canada and that's one of the reasons why we don't get them is because in order for them to sell them in Canada they have to repackage them 
and put the metric front and center and change it so it's packaged in, in English and French. And a lot of companies, especially companies when they're doing something limited edition, are like, yeah, I don't think I want to do that for a tenth the population. No. Twix cookies and cream. I have a feeling my husband's going to steal this one. Released for a hot second in 1990, Twix Cookies and Cream is back. Mixing up the fan favorite Twix recipe with the cr smooth cream and cookie has us wondering why it took so long to bring this treasure back. And the last one, Whoosie Wets It. After more than a decade, the Hershey's Whatchamacallit brand releases a new bar week named for, wait for it, Whoosie Wets It. The name was selected from a contest of over 43,000 suggestions and clearly captures the irresistible characteristics of the creamy, creamy peanut, peanut butter rice crisp all covered. Oh, it's peanut butter rice crispy covered in chocolate. Oh, oh, I love rice crispy chocolate. Add peanut butter. That's going to be good. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. This, this is this is a very silly, very indulgent thing. I. I don't think I'm going to continue it considering money has become tight, but has it been fun these last two months? Yes, it's been fun and I'm glad I tried it and I might try it again. <laughs> so for any of my Canadian friends, this is, this is a thing. It is on the expensive side, I'll give you that, but it ships really quickly at the beginning of the month. This is only the ninth and it's here and I think it only shipped a couple days ago. And you get all kinds of weird crap in it that makes me feel like I'm eight years old again watching cartoons. <laughs> all right, that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, I might do a follow-up video to tell you what of this I liked, but it's all kind of experimental stuff and it's just mostly sugar. So I'm probably gonna like all of it. I have the world's worst sweet tooth. So thank you so much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if, if you tried any of these, if you like them, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.